Hey folks, so uh, been a while since an update and I think when we last, I last did a video I was talking about my imminent delivery of the car. Well, it's arrived and I'm sitting in it at the minute. Now, I have been for a short drive um, and I had to do an inspection when it arrived the other day so I sort of walked around the uh, car with a GoPro to, to check everything um, and make sure that the car was okay for delivery because it's a, it's a fleet car, a lease car, so you don't actually own it but that aside everything seems to check out and uh, the car's been quite lovely to to drive um, but I want to just quickly tell you what I've set up because I'm planning um, to take some time off work to go on a, another little holiday trip and I'm probably going to go up towards Scotland um, so I've set up a couple of apps one called Electroverse which ties in with my Octopus Energy account and one called Chargeplace Scotland um, because Scotland has quite a comprehensive network of chargers, um, but they come under the uh, cover of Chargebase Scotland, and you have to have cards. So you can use your phone as an app, but in Scotland there's not much of a signal, mountains and things. So I've ordered two, uh, oh, I can't remember what they're called, uh, RDIF cards. I'll crack myself in the description below. They're essentially charge cards. Um, and the Octopus Energy card, which is the Electroverse one, is linked to my energy account, but I can put other payment methods on, like direct debit. And the Charge Place Scotland card, I think it's RIFD, yeah, RIFD, I think. The Charge Place Scotland card is again linked to my current account, my bank account, and it just I get invoiced a month after I've used the charging station, um, and it debits from my account. So it's not like when you use a debit card and the they put like a hundred or a two hundred pound hold on your card um, to secure like when you pay with petrol. If you pay in an automated petrol station, um, you'll get like a charge put against your card, which usually clears in a few hours, but it can sometimes take a few days. So if you've not got a lot of funds in your account, you might not be able to fill up. Um, but doing it this way, um, you're not going to get that charge onto your current account. It only takes out what you use. Um, and of course, because it's a card rather than an app, um, you get the advantage that it'll work off offline. Um, so I'll have to do another, my next video will be what my first trip's like. We'll take you on the first trip. Um, I've installed Android Auto because I use an Android phone. Um, it integrates nicely into the car, the, the Android navigation, so I can use Google Maps. But I also have the Electroverse app, which integrates nicely um, and shows me where all the charge points are. And I can just point and click and navigate to uh, one of the charge points I want to go to. But the reason I got the Charge Place Scotland is because Electroverse, although it shows the um, charging points, you can't use the Electroverse card on all of them. So I've chosen these two cards initially. And I think this is on my first initial experience. And I'm, you know, I'm new to this so I could be wrong is that you know you need to start off with a few cards that's um, to enable you to charge more comfortably I think a lot of people come unstuck when they just take an app and a debit card um, but we'll find out we'll find out together when we go on a journey um, so that's all I've done so far I've done a short drive I've charged the car up on my home charger and I used the cheap octopus intelligent tariff which uh, is 7.5p a minute a minute 7.5 per kilowatt hour so I uh, charged the car up for a one pound 60 I think last night and it was about 40 percent of charge um, it would have cost a lot more to get the equivalent mileage in petrol so it is cheaper if you know when to charge it um, so that's about it really um, literally just getting used to the car learning about how all the bits and pieces of it work but that's sort of my initial as a new person uh, advice if you like of, of what I did you can not necessarily advice because I'm so new I'm sort of finding my way but this is what I thought was best to do based on speaking to people of the, the first apps to get a hold of now charge place Scotland if you know any of Scotland it's not point point having it um, the only other app that I was recommended was one called zap map which is nice but you have to have a premium subscription to it if you wanted to integrate into your um, car. So I've just tried it and it says, oh, we, we can't do mapping or routing um, because of this. 
Anyway, folks, thanks for watching, and I hope this video was helpful, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye.